All right, everyone, this video is going to be a full guide on how you can create nylon guitar beats all from scratch in FL Studio. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump straight in. All right, so we are now here in FL Studio 21, as you guys can see, and the guitar we're gonna be using is gonna be this Nylon Sky guitar in Omnisphere from the Sonic Extensions. I really like going for this guitar because it has a super nylon type of sound, as well as it gives it a very realistic sound, and you can also manipulate the notes in the piano roll, which is crucial for this. Now, before we put the pattern down, I have actually just put on a standard preset on the first insert of the mixer. It's literally just some basic effects like a NS1, a EQ, and a little bit of delay, but the main effects that's really gonna give us a nylon nice and clean sound is the RC20 using the Vinyl 3 preset over here, as well as this Roam to give a little bit more ambience and the EQ right here just to clean up the whole sound. Now that we have those effects laid down, we can have a super clean sound right out of the gate. So let's start off with the piano roll. Now that we are in the piano roll, we are gonna be working in 140 BPM and the key is actually going to be C minor. So we're gonna keep things very, very simple, but the pattern is gonna be super catchy. So since we are working the C minor scale, we're just gonna start off by laying down a C minor note. So it's going to be very simple a C, D sharp, as well as a G right here. But to make this a little bit more interesting, we're actually gonna invert this middle note right here so we can just pitch this up by one octave. But in addition to this, we're actually also going to lay down a little bit of a C note right here. So we have both the C5 and the C4. Now to make this a little bit more catchy, we obviously need to move the notes out a little bit. So let's just zoom in over here and move this a few spaces to the side. So this is pretty much going to be our first chord, but you wanna make sure to go down to the velocity right here and really mess around with it. It's gonna give you a very nice sound especially if you're using the same guitar VST that we are using and, and that and that is really what brings that nylon type of sound all together so like I said the velocity is super super crucial next now that we have this we're just gonna build off of this chord as well so I'm gonna add some more higher frequencies up here so let's just add a few notes up here all right, now for the next chord, we're actually gonna do something very, very similar to what we've done right here. So what we can actually do is firstly just copy this whole thing over, but we are of course gonna do a couple of adjustments here and there. So what I actually wanna do is kind of do the same thing. So we're gonna keep this C very consistent. So we're gonna have it on this part as well. Uh, but for this section, we're actually gonna pitch this up by five semitones. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So it lands on the F4. And then again, if you remember what we did right here, we added a C4 and a C5. We're gonna do the same thing right here so we have this f4 this time we're just gonna add a f5 as well a little bit later in the pattern of course again you want to go in and really mess around with that velocity yeah so this has a super cool and catchy pattern to it really like these top notes right here now, since we have the top notes on both the first and the third pattern right here, I think I'm going to add one more little top note on the fourth bar as well. So I'm going to add a C right here, and then we're also just gonna do a little bit of a cool trick at the end. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna try to do is go over to the magnet tool first and then hit a third beat right here, and then just add a little bit of a triplet bounce towards the end. So this is our full guitar pattern right here. A bit of a cool ending right there with the triple bounce. Right, so now we can just have that guitar pattern repeat over and over again. But we of course need to add some more layers to it just to fill out the whole sample. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do to the melody is actually add a one-shot layer. So all I'm gonna do in this case is go over to my motion bundle kit. It's a brand new kit that I've released, so you guys can check it out if you want to. But I obviously have a lot of different kits all in one bundle, and one of them is this one-shot kit right here. So when I open up the one-shot kit, I think I'm gonna go over to the key section, drag in a random key, and then we can just layer it with the same exact pattern as we had on the Omnisphere guitar. So let's just drag in this one shot right here, switch the mode to stretch as well as uh, just the envelope just a little bit. So I'm really just going to look through a couple of the one shots, see which one I really like the sound of and which one complements the guitar perfectly. And then we're just going to go from there and add some effects to it as well. Yeah, I think I really like this one, it's a bit subtle but we can definitely add some more to it. Let's try to add some portal to it. This is pretty cool right here. A little bit of RC20 as well, just gives it that extra little touch. 
So that right there is really the power of these one shots. So you can really just add a quick layer and it's gonna enhance the whole sample. All right, so the next thing we're gonna add to this sample is going to be a vocal. I did go into Splice and I just found this vocal right here. I think it's gonna fit very, very nicely with the guitar. Let me in, don't let me go. If you let me in, don't let me go. If you let me in, don't so let me go. Here it kind of has the same tempo if as our guitar pattern. In, don't let me go. The effects I'm going to add to the vocal is going to be a sound shifter. This right here, I'm just using to pitch up the whole vocal by one octave. So the only thing I'm doing is literally going from zero right here on the semitones up to 12. So it's one octave higher. It's going to give us a little bit more of that higher pitch sound from the vocal. With this, I've also added a little bit of roam at about 35%. This is really just to get that ambience out of our vocal. Together with that reverb, I've also added a magnitude transition one preset in RC20. You guys know I love using this preset when it comes to vocals. It's super, super saucy. And lastly, we just have a high cut EQ to really remove those harsh frequencies on the high end. Yeah, it's really starting to come together right now. All right, the next thing we need to do for the sample is fill out that low end. So this time I'm going to add a bass. Again, I'm gonna go over to the one shot kit right here. This time I'm gonna obviously go into the bass section and I'm gonna pick a more of a natural sounding bass. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. Again, we can just drag this into the channel rack. Now this is obviously very simple. All we need to do is just put the bass uh, section on the root note of our main guitar pattern and we can pretty much just copy it over for the whole section. Just so we have some more of that, more of that low end covered. All right, the last thing I did for the sample is just going to our kit, and I found this little phrase right here. As you guys can hear, it has a little bit of a detuned type of sound, but I think it really just gives the sample a little bit more character. So now with the whole sample finished, it's time we add some drums. As for all the drum sounds I'm using, they are of course coming from the Motion Bundle Kit. So if you guys like any of the drum sounds you hear in this video, or you want to use the one shot or the samples, make sure to check out a kit. It is on my website, which is bbmarco.com, or you guys can just click the first link down below. And I just want to thank all of you guys for the support in the Motion Kit. It's seriously been crazy recently. So let's go in and slap on some drums. So let's start with that clap and open hat. Just copy this over and turn up the velocity as well. Yeah, that's more like it. Let's go. For the hi-hats, I'm obviously going to head over to the MIDI kit as we have 100 hi-hat midis in the kit. So I'm pretty much just going to drag one that I think fits nicely with the sample. This one has a cool low bounce. Let's try to add a different one though. Bro, all of these are fire. I literally, you can't go wrong with any of them. This one's fire. Now we obviously need some more rims for that extra type of bounce. You guys know I love adding rims, so we have some super clean sounds in here. Just keep them a bit subtle. You don't want them to overpower the whole thing. Just a little bit of a bounce right there in the beginning is perfect. I think it's time we add a kick in the 808. I think we can actually add a reverse 808 right here. This is gonna sound crazy. But to do this, all you wanna do is just lay down a note right here, then hit Alt and U to bring up the chopper. Adjust the mule a little bit, however you see fit. And then we're kinda just gonna highlight everything and then just hold your right mouse button and fade this upwards. Yeah, so once we add that kick, it's gonna hit extra hard. Right, so with the kick, we're definitely gonna layer everything, but I wanna do some cool adjustments so we really enhance the whole pattern. So, so right here where we have our reverse 808, instead of having this kick hit right where it usually would hit, I'm actually gonna put this back right here so it's gonna sound super far. Just take a listen to this. Yeah, really enhances that vibe right there. And we can do something cool for the second part as well. Right, so here we have the full beat. A lot of the elements in the intro as well. Shut up, Marco. Marco. Then it just builds up and drops into the hook. 
So here we have just have the guitar with the drums. Then we bring back the counter melody. Mm. These drums hit hard. Then we go into the verse right here. Some cool little chops right there. Then we come back in with the vocal. Super unique and fast paced beat. Definitely different from what I usually go for. Here we have the bridge. A little underwater type of sound. Fades out, then builds back into the hook again. <laughs> 